All right, guys, here's two air tags. You can see they are both associated with my account. Fortunately, I'm blocking out my private information. The camera is the one without the sound chip in there. When I hit the camera, it still shows up in the app. But when I try to play the sound, nothing happens. So you can track it with no problems whatsoever. You don't need to muffle the sound. You just pop out the little sound chip and you're good to go. All right guys, this is pretty easy to do. All you need to do is remove the battery cover, push it down, turn it counterclockwise to expose the battery, dump the battery out, and now you need a little tiny screwdriver as small as possible. Something similar to when you're repairing your uh, glasses that will work. Go ahead, shove that in between the white area and the gray area and start prying up. You can turn it around as you get get it loosened and after a minute or so it's gonna give and it's just gonna pop right off. All right, next thing I want to do, let's get in focus here. This is the sound chip or whatever you want to call this, but this is what makes the sound right here. And to put this back together, it's fairly simple. Go ahead, line up the battery contacts with the little holes. You can use a little glue if you want to. Push it together and then you're done. Now you have an air tag without a sound chip. So fortunately, this thing still works without the sound chip in it. I would think people would try to track you and just muffle the sound by putting like a towel or something around it because this thing's not very loud to begin with. eighty three point four not very loud at all but now that you can just pop this little sound chip out and it'll still work just like normal makes it a lot easier and there's no potential of it making a sound at all I, I do want to see what happens if I put this thing back in will it continue to make a sound or not so let's go ahead and do that Sound was back. All right, let's give this a shot. So, oh, there it goes. Took a second. So yes, you can put the sound chip back in and it works just like normal. I'm gonna move this around a little bit, shake it. It's still making a sound. Wow. All right, guys, you saw it right there. You can remove this sound chip. That is not good to know. Unfortunately, this is a huge potential for someone to track you if you don't have an iPhone, if you have an Android or a Blackberry or some other type of phone, you're not going to hear the ring or whatever this thing temp attempts to ring. I don't even know how long it takes to, to ring. Is it three days? Is it two days? Is it two hours? I don't know. Now, of course, it's not going to be as good as tracking someone with an iPhone, but if they are around other iPhone users, you know, they're not going to be, they're not going to take this home, so they're not going to get notified. But the Android user is still going to be tracked. Now, obviously, that's not going to be up to date when they go home. It's not going to have their address because there's no other iPhone user there, unless maybe another member of the family has an iPhone and so it doesn't think it's being tracked. It's only got one connection. I'm just putting this information out there. I want to hear from you guys. Do you think Apple is doing enough to protect everyone's privacy or do you think they dropped the ball on this one and they should be doing more? Let me know down in the comments below. Thanks for watching guys. I will see you guys on the next video.